I'm Leanne. I'm Jeannie. And we're the Loose Thread Stitchers. We're back for episode number two. Two! <laughs> Came back! <laughs> um, just some quick life updates. We, we intended to do this much sooner, but um, we went on my birthday trip and I got sick. And then my husband retired, and right before he retired, he broke his foot. So I've been kind of being a nurse for a while. We still have four weeks to go, but things are getting better. So, <laughs> and we're back. So we thought we'd give this a try and see how we do today. They're getting better because when you're way down at the bottom, you only can go up, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, but have you gotten any stitching in? That's the thing, or sewing? Um, some. I don't have a whole lot to show, but I'll show what I have. Um, before we get too far into this, I do want to apologize because I had made Jeannie a pillow that was a token for a friend, and I said it was from Blackbird Designs, and it really isn't. It's from um, Heartstring Samplery, Beth Twist, and here's actually the pattern for it. So uh, my great apologies to Beth Twist. I'm so sorry. And the other half, if you look on the back, you can make it in, there's two separate patterns. And the other pattern is actually from Plum Street Samplers. So if you want the other one and make a long pillow, that's where you would get it from. Or you can make one, give one away, and keep the other half. Right, you can. But I just felt really bad that I, my very first video, and I made a big mistake, so. Okay, so that's. <laughs> one of many to come. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Um, that's that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to what we've been working on. Do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? You can go first. Okay, um, I am doing the Whipco board. board. And um, so the two, the two projects I'm working on this month. My first one is the Smith Sampler. I just love this sampler. I don't know, I think I'm addicted to swans or something. I just really like this sampler. And the, the border is pretty intense. I mean, there's quite the border there and they kind of remind me of teepees, but this is as far as I got on my 10 days. And you gotta give me some credit, I've had stuff going on. So this is my wow. start, but they do, they kind of look like little Indian teepees to me. They're kind of cute, but they have like three colors in each teepee. Okay, explain why you have fabric. Um, this fabric was cut, oh, this is vintage metal rue and that's what it calls for. And it to me it was pretty, close cut so I added the fabric so when I'm in my um, hoop and stuff I have room to hold the, the fabric taut that's why I have extra I normally don't have to do that because I try to get my fabrics cut so I have at least three inch borders but this one's kind of close so I I didn't want to take a chance and then when you put the hoop on there's you know you have gaps so that's why I so you stitch with a hoop I do I stitch with either hoops. I did just order a couple of Q-snaps because I wanted to try them. So we'll I see. like the Q-snaps because you can change out sizes. I do too. That's why I ordered an 11 by 17. I ordered an 11. I have an 8. And then I think I'm going to order a 17 by 17 because then you can mix and match all of the pieces to get the size you want. Or you can have one piece of fabric and do two or three different smalls. Right. Um, and this is my bag, and like I said last time, Jeannie and I make our own bag, so this is the bag I made, and this one I made a handle. Uh, Jeannie puts handles on all of hers. I don't necessarily put handles on all of mine. Sometimes it's just because I forget. I like the grab and go part of it. And then the other half of my Whipco, which I'm on now, it was supposed to be our anniversary, and I'll show you that pattern. That's this. This is our anniversary, and... In June, we'll be married 45 years. There's no way I'm getting this done by June. Give it up. So, maybe by our 50th. I don't know. Well, I'll do my best. That's, yeah. that's all I can promise right now. As long as there's no more broken bones but, or nursing. Right. And since I've been taking care of my husband, by the time nighttime comes around, man, I am so tired. And I text the genie because it's like, this is a, a red sampler, and there's three different colors of red in it. And they're Victoria Clayton silk which I kind of like, they're kind of nice. Um, they're just these little spools. They look like this. Um, but I was just, cause I'm so tired. I mean, it's all, it just, I was looking, it's like, it's all X's, that's all I saw. And so I did get a little bit of it, but I told Jeannie, I said, I think I'm gonna quit this one until I can be awake more at night. This is as far as I got on it. It's I love it, nice. it looks, 
Yeah. Very lacy to me, very vintage, very old fashioned. I just love it. But I think I have to kind of block off motifs or something. But I think to work on this, I do need to be more awake. I well, just yeah, can't do it. Your hobby should not be like work where you for have to force yourself. No, you got to enjoy it. it. So then I switched this. I stopped working on this one. And I switched to, there's three of us. We have a friend, Julie, and we decided to do Our Lasting Friendship by Blackbird Designs in that time. This time I'm right. It is Blackbird Design. It's this pattern. And I was doing this on um, Blackbird Weekends. And I thought I really enjoy working on it, and it has separate motifs. So for me at night, if I'm tired, I could still focus on a motif and say, okay, I can just get that motif done. Yeah, and know, accomplish something. Right, and, and then move on to the next motif. So um, this is as far as I've gotten on it. That's very nice. And I guess I can kind of move it up there so you can see. You don't see behind. Oh, there. Is that? There. That's as far as I've gotten. So this is working out really well. So I will continue working on this until the end of the month because... I, I like it has different colors. It's just easier for me to read at night when I'm tired. Until my husband gets better with his ankle, I think it's something to work on. And you said what you're stitching that on, right? Um, it's what they call for. It's 36 count legacy. Okay, and then your floss? My floss is the called for floss, except for Lori Holt did a conversion of four of the threads. And if you, you know, we talked about that on our last video, but if you go to her video, you can see what her, you know, she'll tell you what her conversion is. And this is the bag I keep it in. I think I showed this last time. Um, Julie, our other friend, gave me a panel with a whole alphabet, and I just used four. So I will make more bags with the rest of the alphabets. And that's all I've been working on. Alrighty, I've been working on the series of hands-on design, the laundry, the laundry company. So this was the first one, and then I think that was the second one, and then there's the third one. I thought these would be kind of fun to have hanging in my new laundry room. So this is the one. I am working on right now. It's the irony. <laughs> so cute. and I'm it's all the called for DMC except I'm using 564 instead of the 3849 because my um cabinets are jadeite green. So that's what I've been working on. So that's the only um whip I have okay so then um next we would talk about finishes and I have none I kind of feel like <laughs> I'm a cross between Carol the salt box stitcher because I love samplers and I work I have a few going but I'm also like Laura right now because it's like I feel like I'm a serial starter and I don't finish anything this one though wait till you see she okay. finishes stuff left and right see this is the one I one fit it for the laundry room and then I did the other one so I'm almost done with the three-part series then I can frame them that's really cute so and then I was doing the um, cross stitch camp with Colorado cross stitcher and oh who was doing that too mama loves you GB Michelle she finished hers too yeah so this is uh, Threadwork Primitives Quaker Block Print, and I did it on 18-count latte by Fiber by a Whim with Plastic Colorwork Steam Broccoli. Wow, that's beautiful. So, it's a beautiful green. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. I usually don't like steam broccoli, but... <laughs> Not the real stuff. <laughs> no. And then I did... Lots of people are working on this one. Oh, and it's not. I did iron it. <laughs> uh, Baby, it's cold outside uh, by Heartstring Samplery. And it was a country sampler floss conversion. Um, classic. No, it's it's uh, fancy floss. So I don't, don't remember what it was. It's on 18 count Ada uh, Stone Gray. 
That's beautiful, Tina. So wow. that I gotta I get. I love to. the variegation in the red. Yeah, that's beautiful. And it has been today when I came over, it was seven below. Yeah. So it it has been cold outside. We're in Minnesota. You got to get used to it. We I don't think we. I don't know. Usually by the end of March, maybe we're coming. I know a lot of people are talking on YouTube that they're getting spring, <laughs> but not oh. us. We're a ways away. I have a cat here. Her name is Willow. There she is. I don't know if I can show you, but she has a heart on her back. See her oh. back? Her heart. She is the best kitty in the whole world. She demands Attention. equal time. Yeah, she's very snuggly. I've had cats all my life, and I never knew a cat could be snuggly. And this cat snuggles like you wouldn't believe. But she does have a bad habit. And if I could show you her bad habit... I would. She chews on all my plastic bags. These are the ones she hasn't gotten. These, she chews this. So it's full of holes all the time. Jeannie laughs every time she comes over. Every pattern I show Jeannie, it's got all of these chewed up holes in the plastic. Well, she cuts into your stitching time. <laughs> well, she snuggles. I like and, my cat to snuggle. And she chews your... your uh, Magnetic ties. Yeah, she cut, she chewed one of my magnetic ties in half. So I'm gonna take those magnets out and put it on a needle. Keep keeps me thinking. Yeah, at our house though, we don't have any domestic animals, so it's kind of. <laughs> she used to. But I mean, we used to have. They're them. done. Yeah. I don't know that I'll ever be done. I also have, in case you're noticing here, I have turtles. I have eight turtles, and I have four. Um, tortoises and another then, tank well the tortoises aren't in water tortoises are on land right. um, but I have a total of eight turtles I have four tortoises and I also have two baby tortoises that I will sell but it got too cold I can't ship them out so um, just you're gonna see too you might hear little turtle tidbits along the line because <laughs> I rescue turtles and I have turtles and turtles just fascinate the heck out of me so these two her, Julie and Jeannie have learned a lot about turtles not that they wanted to, but just because I get going on them, and they've learned a lot. Yeah. She's even dug up eggs for me, so it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll move on to fully finished, and this is, of course, Jeannie, oh. not me. Okay. I don't have any fully finished. I have some smaller ones. I did the uh, nine, March 9 patch. They're into a little pillow. Stuffed it with sawdust. It's kind of nice. Building a house, I would go in and sweep after the guys were done, and I could um, sift in my sawdust. So then this one here, more than luck country, no, carriage. Carriage house samplings, more than luck. And I don't know. It's the called for um, floss. Not DMC. Um, yeah, it is DMC. Okay, then how would I get the variation? There's one evergreen forest oh. variation. Okay, four so or four or five. Yep. And I don't know what the linen is. It's over two. I don't do over two. Oh, you did two over two. Oh, so you did linen. She did linen. That I... was that was before I knew. <laughs> she doesn't do linen. I this don't do linen. linen. <laughs> I don't do linen. I'm trying not to get the light there. That's better. So I'm That's... a little bit Irish, so it's got to gotta do some decorating. She, she always has decorated her house for holidays, and I generally don't. But since getting into crust, just see all these pin keeps and stuff, I, you will see me doing more of that because I do think they're just so cute. So you've got you got a lot of haul to do littles, but I do have a lot of haul to do littles, but I, I, I mean I have several littles in progress, but life happens, what can I say? So now I've got a couple ornaments and this is Threadwork Primitives and it is done on 18 count winter white seraphin fabrics with call for DMC. So there's that one. Oh, so cute. And then this so one cute. is Look at that. Oh. Quaker Bird Pinwheel. And it's done with the same fabric. And called for. Trying to get the glare out of it. We even took them out of the bag. DMC. Oh, that one I love with the flowers. Oh, I'm a, I love flowers and gardening. This is beautiful. And then this is Leaping Stag. 
16 count. You have to realize Jeannie is a very prolific quilter. If you, when, when her machine is going, it's pedaled to the metal and I am not kidding you. It is full speed all the time and she quilt makes quilts. And so now obviously with her cross stitching, she is very prolific also because she is just, ooh, you gotta see the fabric on the back. <laughs> Ooh, it's from look my... at that fabric on the back oh my gosh that's gorgeous so i like to do the littles and we have you see accomplishments little mischievous kitty here digging in her basket <laughs> well, those getting in trouble. yeah so those were my fully finishes for cross stitch Okay, so now, um, as we said in our first video, we go on birthday trips. There's the three of us, and when it's our birthday, we go on birthday trips. And it was my birthday in January, so we went on a trip um, down south. So we went to some quilt stores. Well, when she says down south, southern Minnesota, northern yeah. Iowa. Yeah. That's south to us. Um, we went to two quilt stores and two cross-stitch stores. Um, and so the... Um, I'm gonna, we're going to show you some haul, at least I am, from my birthday trip. <laughs> um, we, the first place we went was Welcome Stitchery, and Welcome Stitchery moved from Illinois. If you, if you listen to Brenda and Laura, they um, had Welcome Stitchery, and Welcome Stitchery has moved here, which we are very happy about. To Blue Earth. To yes. Blue Earth, Minnesota. Um, so the first thing I bought, this was, it came in a kit. Um, it had it had the chart linen and embellishments, and I bought the um, threads to go with it. But it's um, make life beautiful. I thought that's a nice Valentine pin keep. Um, it was very cute, and it came with the linen. And again, I added um, there's little buttons in it and stuff. And I I mean I bought the thread at the same time. She has a really nice little shop. A lot of floss, very a lot nice. of She's fabric. So nice. She's just so nice, and um. The second one I bought was Be My Valentine, and this just has DMCs. I always buy more than I need, because then I just add more DMCs to my flat. And it only has two. It's a red and a pink. That's all it has. And, you know, if I just sat down and did this, I'm sure I could finish probably in a day. I don't know. It's pretty quick. Depends on if you got to be nurse or not. Yeah, i got to be nurse. And then I, I saw this one, and I don't know how I missed it, but it's by Brenda Gervais, and it's called Manor at Quaker Hill. And um, I just love this. I don't know how I missed this, but I did, so I bought it. I haven't kitted it or anything yet. So. Yeah, Justine, who has the shop, was so nice. She cut fabric for us, and she helped us with everything, and um, yeah. stayed open a little later. She did for us, because we were at, towards the end of the day. Yeah. And I did get some fabric with her. I got, um, it's called 40 Count. The color is Swank. It's called Swank. Who's it by? It's by Fortnite. Um, it's got a lot of... Does that look about right? Movement in it, yeah. Move it back. It has yeah. a lot of modeling in it. It kind of reminds me of Heartland, maybe, a little. Um, so, lighter. It's lighter, creamier. It's, the creamier is sort of more it is on the yellow side than on the brown side. Really pretty. Sample. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. I love that. And then this is, um, the fabric is called Shrekkie's Tan, and it's by Needle Bling, and again, it's 40 count. And I think a lot of you know what Shrekkie's Tan is. It's just a basic tan. It has a little modeling in it. It's hard to see. Kind of tighter. Yeah. Um, has like, what, some gray, would you say, mm -hmm. in it? But it's mostly tan. Um and for, for you guys who have continued stitching all of these years, I'm totally jealous because you guys have all this fabric stash. Mm -hmm. we, we're starting to get a fabric stash, but it's fabrics none of them are called for. You just have to find fabrics that you can find and hope that the colors kind of match, which has taken me out of my box because I usually, what out. the designer says, that's what I do. Yes. And um, I can't do that. So, but it's been a learning experience, and we found a lot of fabric. And yeah. she does Ada, and I do. Kind of fun um, when you do the floss toss and then see what actually. <clears throat> and then the other um, cross-stitch store we, we went to is in Osage, and it's called. <laughs> we'll think of it. Oh, my. Oh, I know. How did I drop that out of my head? I don't have it on here. How come it's not on here? 
Um, we'll think of it. It's an Osage. Yeah, we thing. usually just call it Osage. The Stitchery Nook. The Stitchery Nook. That's it. It's the Stitchery Nook. And what I really like about the Stitchery Nook is they have their fabrics hanging. Oh, and all bagged up. All bagged up. You can get fat quarters and half yards. And then they also have shelves where you can go and they can cut what you want. But like I got this. This is called Earth Angel by Seraphim Fabrics. It's 36 count. It's... I bought it for more Halloween stuff. It's kind of a purple and a green. Does that? I'd say purple and tan and green. Khaki, yeah. Yeah, that, that's about right, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought these would be good because I have quite a few Halloween pin keep um, patterns. I thought that would be good to put some of those on. And then... Um, one color I did get is Weeks Dye Works. They had parchment. And you I gotta tell you, I almost squeal when I find these fabrics that it's like, I know that fabric. I've seen that fabric. And this I is, need that fabric. Yeah, and this is parchment in which I really like. It's kind of a yellowy tan. What count is that? This is 40. Okay. Yeah, this is I I 40 is my home. 36 to oh. 40 is what I generally like. That's about right. But man, when, when you get to see some fabric that it's like, oh, that's been on one of my patterns. I have to own that. You get pretty excited about it. Yep. Her haul for her birthday was pretty good. <laughs> that's what a birthday's about. You have to have haul. And then Olivia from um, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts, she showed the Ann Priest um, sampler. So I had to go by Ann Priest. I just love it. It's just such a neat sampler. It has that big, huge house. So that's really nice. And then from um, 1844, she's redoing some of the samplers we can't get anymore. And she did the ES spot motif sampler. Um, she reproduced it. There it is right there. So I had to order that because I really liked it. Carol showed it on um, Cellbox Stitcher and I just loved it. And she said it was out of print and now it's coming back and then of course what did they say char can't travel alone <laughs> so then i got um we practice that <laughs> it's called the little things sampler i can try to get the picture in there there i just thought that was kind of a neat little sampler i like the words in it it was kind of cool and i don't like samplers that have all like alphabets I'm not a fan of a whole sampler with alphabets. I mean, I might do a small one one day, but I like them when they have a mixture of the alphabets and houses and trees and animals and, you know, all the different motifs. I just Does love that. Does a sampler have to have an alphabet? I don't know. I think that would be up to you. Okay. I mean, it's I mean, there's those under definition. Like, is, there, is there criteria for a sampler? I don't know. Okay. Because I know, like, Laurel always say, well, that's a perfect sampler. And to me, when she shows a perfect sampler, it kind of has a little bit of everything. Okay. But I don't I don't know. This was really cute. I didn't even, I've never seen this. It's by the Blue Flower, and it's called Winter Blooms. And it's just a little pinky, but for fall, that is just gorgeous. I just loved it, so I bought all the threads for it. Um, and then this is Love Notes by Brenda Gervais. She's got to be one of my, I have so many Brenda Gervais, so she must be one of my favorites. But these are, I'm sure you've all seen these, these little Love Notes. And it's all DMC, so I picked those up. Um, so as far as cross stitch, that is my haul. Okay, so what is on your radar? Um, what do you want to do? Well, I'll keep doing my whip go. Okay, do you get anything else in with the two projects a month? Um, I was planning to, but now this month is really weird because my husband broke his ankle. So, no, because on the 27th is my 10-day for my whip call, oh. so that'll only leave one day. And on the 27th, she calls new numbers, so I'll get two new numbers. For next month. Yeah, and what I'll probably do on the 28th is get those two projects ready to go for the first, whatever project is next. But on the 28th, yeah, if I, if I can, I can... Well, I'll either work on, since I started this one late, because I switched, I might now, continue an extra day. You do 10 days on a project. I do. Okay, so any type of stitching, you don't require 
X amount of hours to constitute a day. I don't because um, I know Steph talked about that, that she constitutes so many hours as a day. I don't because I, I mainly stitch at night. When I come down and when I come down at night, most of the time on my normal life, I, I sew. <laughs> pre-broken foot. <laughs> yeah, pre-broken foot. I sew and then about 8, 8.30, I, sometimes 9, I will stop and then I will go stitch until about midnight, sometimes 12.30. I try to make myself go to bed by one because if I don't go to bed by one, it's almost like I rejuvenate myself and then I can't sleep. So now what I've been just trying to do just to give myself some time is I come down and it is about 8.39 when I'm finally stitching and I'm so tired. It's just after doing so many things all day, it's I, I'm tired. So I, I maybe get in an hour, hour and a half. That's about all I'm getting in and it's okay. kind of sad. But I'm hoping now that as his foot gets better, He'll, he's doing more on his own, so then hopefully some of this will come back now. He'll That's, get your life back? Right. And the most I got to wait is four and a half weeks, and then he'll be back with, you know, he won't. So then does that start the, the transition into retirement mode? Well, that's what I would hope. We'll but see. then will your schedule be back yet? Or will you be I hope so. establishing a new one? No, I hope I have my routine. I, I kind of like my routine. Hopefully he'll find his. I think it's harder for guys than it is women, but we'll find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, okay, so now, since you don't, you don't have any... Oh, you do. Well, I yes. got a couple things okay, that good, good, good. I want to do. I want to do... Rosa Sugars. Oh. oh, so many people want to do this. Yeah. She's so cute. The picture she puts with those are just Yeah. Amazing. So I got the called for DMC, and I'm doing it on 18 Count Winter White by Seraphin Fabric. So hopefully that will be a start within between now and the next floss tube. And then I have a uh, JBW French Country Spring Basket. There you go. And... Oh, look at the fabric. I just picked up, I don't know where, it was in the sale bin. It's just um, 18 count yellow Ada. And then I have this lime green. It was bobbinated. But I thought that'd be so fun. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. On there. That looks real springy. Yeah. Yeah, that does. That looks very springy. So, and then when we were at Welcome Stitchery, I picked up. The Gathering Clovers, so I'm going to do that on 18 Count Latte by Fiber on a Whim, and I'm going to use Sulky. Sulky. Try that out. Oh, yeah, because a lot of people are using Sulky. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. <laughs> she'll get them done. It will. By the time we see you again, she'll have them done. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> so that's, Yeah. My, my hopes and dreams for cross stitching. Um, one thing about the Osage, um, the stitchery nook, um, they do. They have these containers of all of these scraps. So we go through them, and we find you know bigger pieces. So like we can do our pin keeps and stuff. I haven't seen that at a lot of stores. That's one of the. Yeah, nice if you things. get a big enough size piece of, of fabric, and then you can always like you had done sew on to make it bigger to fit in your hoop. But your cross stitch fabric is big enough for the motif. Yeah, it is. And whatever your the project you're doing, so. Do you want to tell them about our? Sure. Go ahead. You want to tell them, or should I? Um, at at the stitchery nook, oh. um, in the last the week the last weekend in April, um, hands on design is going to be there, and she's doing a class, and we signed up for it. Don't know what it is. No, um, they're sending, they asked us what fabric we stitch on now, and they're sending the fabric out, because we have to finish the project before we get there, and then she's going to show us how to finish it. How to fully. Finish. Yeah, so we're going to go down on a Thursday, and the class starts on Friday and Saturday, and then, um, so we're going to stay at a hotel and stuff, and um, you could, I mean, if anybody's interested and lives around here, you can see if there's any openings still. That's the first one we're kind of excited, because yeah. we've been watching all these people go to all of these retreats and stuff, and we can't get into them because they're all full. So we just, I just kind of saw this on Hands On Design quite a while ago that she was going to be doing a class there. So we went, we, that was our first trip down there to Stitchery Nook was to ask about that yeah. class. Sign up. Sign us up. So we're really excited that we're newbies at yeah we're newbies you know, we, at classes and retreats and stuff so 
we're um that's gonna be kind of fun it'll be in the spring here i hope we don't have any it'll be there. interesting because we've been doing before covid uh quilt retreats yes we go on we used to go twice a year to quilt retreats and of course, with COVID, we can, you know nobody's doing it anymore. But so. with quilt retreats, you take your machine, you take your chair, you take an ironing board, you take your project. We drive separate because the vehicles are full <laughs> in our projects. It, and it's full. <laughs> so now with stitching, we'll have to see if we take less. I, I would assume it'll be a lot less, but we'll see how it works. We got to save room for our haul when we come home. Yeah, and I'm I'm very excited about that because I think that'll be fun. It'll be nice to see how that other side, of, you know, with cross stitching works. It'll be, yeah, and to see it with the designer, I think that'll be just a blast. Yeah, do it'll be good. First of many, I hope. Well, and then we're at that cross stitch store. That's a nice cross stitch store, so we won't have any trouble buying anything either. I'm sure. No. Okay, so I think. We are done with stitching. So if that's all you watch, then have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go on to quilting because um, that still is, we still love quilting. So. Quilting and then we'll do a little um, wool applique today. Sure. And um, for those of you that are sure. just wa here watching cross stitching, if you would, if you like us, please like and subscribe. That would be nice. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Um, hopefully in two weeks. We're going to. Try to get this down here. Yeah, no more broken feet. Yeah, please, nobody do anything. We, I had a dark cloud hanging over me for a couple of weeks now, and it's like, go away, cloud. You can and, and Olivia, poor Olivia on Pumpkin Hollow Quilts last year, I just felt so bad for her because one thing after the other was happening to her, and I'm going, well, Olivia, I kind of know what you went through because her husband got sick, her dishwasher broke, her quilting machine broke. I mean, it was like one thing after the other, and it's like, I, I, I get it. So yeah. hopefully my little cloud is floating away to somewhere else. Right. And if that happens to one in two people, then I'm the other one that it won't happen to, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's hope not. Yeah. I don't hope for And I felt really bad because I, I was starting to get sick on her trip, and I didn't know it. So when I got home, I had to go get a COVID test because I was with Jeannie and Julie, and I thought, oh, my God, did I just expose these women to COVID? Thankfully, it wasn't COVID, and I just had crud, and then it went into sinus infection. So, And they didn't get my crud either. So no. I was so happy. It was like, oh, my God, I was with I didn't She know lost I was her voice. Second day out on our trip, I didn't have a voice. It was God. gone. And I just, when we left, my eyes were kind of dry. My nose was kind of dry. I thought humidity in the house was bad. And by the next day, I, I could barely talk. And yeah. I, I felt fine. Nothing hurt. No sore throat, no nothing. And boy, by the time I got back home, it just, boom, knocked Happy me down. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, then I was I thought it was, oh, no. I was just with all these people in stores. And I yeah. was, oh, man. But no, I took a COVID test. I went drove through they stuck it up your nose and life was good i had no covid so i was very happy about that so and these two didn't get any of my sickness so i was also happy no about that. can't blame her no no nope. so we're going to move on to quilting now um so finishes of course i have no finishes well this is kind of a crossover oh yeah um, it is Back, I think it was in 2017, my husband and I did a trip down to the Carolinas and around, and we went to the Biltmore Estate. Well, in their gift shop, they had a cross-stitch kit. Um, that is so pretty. Sampler. Well, at that time, it's like, okay, what do I do with it? So I made it into a quilted wall hanging. And um, she just built a house. If you listen to our first one, she just moved on to their family farm. It's a century-old farm. <laughs> And they're going to tear down the old house in there. She's built a house. And in her bathroom, in her sewing room, um, it was Primitive Gatherings showed these ruler walls. And I have them in my quilting room, and maybe someday I'll show you that. But um, she put these ruler walls in her bathroom and hung all these little quilts on. And it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And, like, we'll be filming at each other's house, so... Hopefully you'll get to see that at some point. Yeah. So but that's going to hang on her ruler wall. That is. And now for <clears throat> St. Patrick's Day, I wanted to do something with shamrock. So I just Googled free shamrock quilting pattern, and they came up with just this chart. So it's kind of like whatever size block you want. Okay. So I did a two inch finished, so it's two and a half inch cut square, 
and I came up with this pillow. That's so cute. Made it into a pillow. And then I thought, oh, you know, okay, let's make it smaller. So I cut these at one and a half, so they finish at one inch square, and made this little table topper. Just, you know, you got the stash. So. That's very cute. Very, very cute. Yeah, but it, it takes a while <laughs> when you start working smalls. Not for her. <laughs> so. Um, so now we move on to haul. Oh, yes, and you have from her quilt or from her birthday trip. <laughs> from her birthday trip. Remember, we went to two crossing stores and two quilt stores. So, um, before this is last time I showed when we were showing our bags that we make our own bags, um, I had showed pulled up a um pillowcase that I was going to make into a bag and I finished the bag. See, I did finish something without a um, handle though. Yeah, no handle. I forgot, but anyway, this is finished. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and um, I put a little, there's a little flower basket charm on there. Mm -hmm. So I just love this. This is beautiful. Yeah. So I'll have to find something to put in here. But that, that one, and that's the last bag I've made. Normally, if I even if I'm tired, I come down and make a bag. And we've been doing some thrift shopping, antique shopping. So maybe on the next video, we'll do some of our finds and how we apply it to quilting and cross-stitching. Right, yeah. We'll show why we bought what we bought. Mm -hmm. um, there is a reason. And then we went, there's a, a, the first quilt store we went to, right? I think they were having 25% of it. That, that was second. We went to okay. Hutchinson first. Oh, that's right. Um, so it was called the Sewing Seed Company and it was 25% up, right? It was the reason for the trip. Yeah, that's why we picked that time to go. Because normally in the winter it gets kind of iffy. We sometimes have to hold off. But the weather was good, and um, that's one of the main reasons we went was because of the sale. We built a trip around that. Right. Yeah, because that's your ah uh, shop. That's my ah uh, shop. I could move in there. I could live there forever and breathe really nice because it's upstairs. It's mostly Civil Wars and wool. And downstairs, they have more, what, baby? Um, they had Lori Holt. They have more, you know, like... Contemporary, they have the yeah, Mankey and... Right, more varieties, but upstairs, OMG, Civil War coming out of your eyeballs. It's just... It's heaven. your comfort zone. It's my huge comfort zone. Um, and they had this quilt hanging on the wall, and I just couldn't, I couldn't leave without it. And I don't, I try not to buy as many kits anymore, but this is called Hands to Work. It's by Pam Buddha. And this is the picture there. I guess it's good. Um, and then here is all of the fabrics. OMG. And samples do sell the kits. They do. With anything. And they, so. had, they have so many samples there. And even with the sale, they had so many people working. I mean, if you were holding a bolt of fabric, somebody was asking you if you wanted it cut. I mean, we didn't have to wait around very long at all for people to cut fabric or anything. They kind of know what they're doing. Yeah. There. And then I found this fabric. Um, this is uh, Jill Morton fabric. And she has this quilt. Um, I, this was from American Patchwork and Quilting from December of 2010. And it's this, I don't know, maybe I should take it out so we can see it better. It's really cute. It's called Small Steps. And it's it's like court courthouse court steps, you know, log cabin-y. Sort of. And so I thought this would be a really good 